I need to take your ride, Ready? darling. After Lincoln vanished, Cassandra took control of the city's underworld. It wasn't a crime boss from Boston to Miami who respected her claim, though, so... Uh, commission, the Colombians, the Cubans, they all went after her. They realized too late they had no idea who they were fighting. Johnny Galante, throat slit, watching Deep Throat in a porn theater. And Manny Moreno uh, set on fire outside his daughter's quinceanera. Severo Garcia buried alive on the beach, drowned when the tide came in. Anton Bagrov beaten to death with crowbars in the parking lot of the Briar Patch. And then the real criminals came for her. The governor declared martial law, sent in the National Guard. So, Cassandra shot him in the head on the steps of the Capitol building. After that, everyone got the message. The city belonged to Cassandra. But the government is like a rogue elephant. It's murderous and patient and never forgets. So the state pulled funding for the schools city maintenance, you name it. If they couldn't get Cassandra, it strangled the city until it gave her up. Hurricane Cassandra, the locals called it. I, mean, I, I don't think anyone expected the damage to be so severe that the levees would completely fail, that the flooding would wipe out half the city and force the other half to leave, that that the city would turn into the ghost town it is today. It's hard to believe, really. A major American city left to rot like that? Some say Cassandra was one of the thousands who drowned in the flood. Others say she slipped away to the swamps and still rules what's left of the city's underworld from the bayou. Either way, she's a ghost. She hasn't been seen in years. After Sam Arcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years, met him a woman. Seemed like he was gonna get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. 
And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake. And I'll be waiting. I promise you that. Hold my head, hold that. Let me ask you something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman, cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NBA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Get out and just... shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me. And hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered. Well... I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying that Sal Marcano and a group of conspirators murdered Jack Kennedy. Oh, that is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. I assume you no! know that. Don't fucking move! This... You're out of your mind. Oh, I don't hold anyone's ambitions against them, Senator. And you certainly were ambitious, weren't you? You went to law school, and then you became a district attorney, and then United States Senate. After Sal Marcano died, I went through his files. Imagine my surprise when I saw your name over and over and over and over again. The mob wanted Jack Kennedy dead, and you were more than willing to help. There are cameras everywhere. There's witnesses. No, I want you them to get see that this is. stupid asshole, because then they will know that I am not finishing with you. I am starting with you. Oh! 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 And they're next. <laughs> Gentlemen, God, you're <laughs> 